What is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Toy Story 4. As you know, many people did not want this film to be made, and um, I think it was definitely a risky decision. I was skeptical of it, as was everyone else, but I think the overall product was fantastic. I loved, loved the stuff they did with Forky. I thought Forky's arc was really good. Like, when the trailers came out, um, it made me really disappointed and, like, even more worried than I was before. Like, before the trailers came out, I was like, okay, maybe this could be good, you know, 50-50. But a lot of stuff in the trailers I just didn't like, and it kind of brought my expectations a little bit down. But just one single thing where Woody's like hmm should i go to the carnival or should i not in the trailer that that was good to me that was a little tease of what does eventually happen um i didn't like how they didn't give a lot of the og characters screen time because they definitely should have done that but overall this was a great film i mean woody's arc was amazing and you can kind of see how his connection to andy and his connection to bonnie is very different because when he was connected to andy he was a favorite toy but in this he's just kind of in the closet so i think that was very well done it was very it was a very well done movie um if i had to be criticizing of it in some way it was definitely how Fan favorite characters didn't get enough screen time, such as Rex and Jesse, but I liked the little passing the torch in the closing moments where Woody was kind of like, here, now you're Bonnie's favorite toy, so you lead her room, and now Woody's kind of going on his adventure. So I thought that was really good. Um, I thought the film was great, and a lot of things it did. <laughs> Another thing about this was like, what they did with Fork in the first 10 minutes, I, I thought it was great, but to have like, that in a kid's movie where he's like, ah, I want to be in the trash, and he keeps trying to throw himself away. That was, like, something I don't think a lot of kids would understand. I mean, I thought the overall tone is pretty interesting with Woody, like, ah, ah, ah. And I liked Gabby Gabby because she's one of the most complex villains in any of these kind of kids' movies because even though you want Woody to win... You also see where she's coming from, kind of in a Thanos kind of way, where, like, you want her to win, and you're kind of rooting for that villain over your protagonist, which is something I don't think a lot of movies do anymore, or really ever have done, except for a select few, such as Infinity War, which you're almost rooting for the villain, but not really, and you can understand what the villain's goals are. The thing I really liked was Woody's relationship with Bo Peep, because I felt like, you know... They did have a relationship in the other movies, but it wasn't as much connected and, like, it was just about five minutes of screen time tops in every movie. And when she was absent from Toy Story 3, that opening scene in the rain was fantastic. I think that's one of the best animation scenes I've probably ever seen. I just thought that was so spectacular how they did that. I really enjoyed that originally people were saying oh this movie's going to be a romance story between woody and bopey i mean kind of but no because there's a lot of focus on what on forky getting captured and woody needing to save him time and time again and that the villain you're just rooting for her where and you understand how, like, she wants to have the same love that Woody's gotten through both of his owners. And Woody understands that. And then he kind of realizes, okay, well, where's my place in the world now? Because Andy and Bonnie are two different people, like I've said. And that is basically the theme of where the conclusion and the my two favorite funny characters in this were definitely Ducky and Bunny. Um... You know, they were hilarious through the entire thing. They made me crack up time and time again. Um, the only new character that I didn't enjoy was Duke Kaboom. He, he bored me a little bit. And Keanu Reeves is always great because he's everywhere. But um, I didn't love that character. And also, I think I might have liked him more if he had more. If he had more screen time, I think I might have liked him a little more. But um, that was Toy Story 4. I would give this movie a... 9.5 ish because there were elements that i didn't love but those were just tiny nitpicking but i think this could be one of the best toy stories so thank you so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe for more i will be doing movie videos all the time now this is the everything channel our motto is we do everything because we do see ya